check this out here. Cool rig. Let's go. No sounds. <laughs> Random sounds. Oh, yeah. It's cool. Yeah, I like it. You're saying here that he is going to be punching arrows from out of the air. And the final move he does, like a force field to block a bunch of arrows at once. The question is, is that the... I'm assuming that's the bing, bing, bing. that's the final <laughs> there should be one more like a bing. <laughs> don't do it but I got one last little arrow goes, or <laughs> don't do it or you do like somewhere in here or something like right in right in that gap and then you got hold on don't do it don't do it and they never blood coming down he goes uh, uh, you got me anyway anyway i think it's cool i like it uh just quick because of the camera move there's i was the very first time slightly not confused like whoa what's that move oh okay we're doing camera stuff so what i would do is definitely take this type of set piece and extrude some pieces and do, uh, put in some you know pieces here stones up close not super in the foreground what would you seem to be doing is translating up versus rotating because you can see how the distance here is increasing so that's a translate not sure you need it to be honest in a translate i don't mind this because you're moving away but you could easily just rotate to reframe but what i would do first just add some pieces here so that we understand what is going on with the camera. Not too close, because again, if you have something really, really close by and you translate and you move this down, it's going to be something where as we go up like this, it's going to go out of the frame. If you would go back, it's going to be really high up. So the more you translate with the camera in TY up and down, and the more you have objects in front of the lens, it's going to have a tremendous amount of movement versus nodal animation where you just, you just rotate. But that's mainly that. The thing, I think it, it's going to be good to know where those arrows come from. Because the thing is, to me right now, it seems like, well, before I go into this, I think the animation is cool. All that stuff is cool. It's maybe a bit slidey forward. Because he seems so strong, yet he is sliding forward. Like, is, is he pushing himself? That's what where all the camera stuff gets a bit tricky. Like, is, is it the camera move? I see in here a little bit of some shakiness. But then like, there's no camera move here. So here it's a bit odd because he's he might push himself forward, but now both feet are moving. So he starts to, is it a shuffle? Is it kind of a slide? I'm not sure it always works, especially at the beginning. I would love for this almost to be rock solid so that you know he's he at full strength triangle pose this is solid solid stance to fight off all these arrows that would be my initial impression of what the feet are doing here or you do the opposite so you're doing all this but he's actually sliding back because imagine every time an arrow hits maybe this some force not that he has a force field but maybe there's some energy arrows and there's always a bit of a, a bounce back and all that fighting is pushing him back to the right to the right to the right to the right until he has enough and he goes Shoo. that you could do i just wouldn't go forward it, it seems like backwards might be a cooler option the other thing is i think the rhythm one two three four five six seven eight nine I don't know, and I'm counting kind of randomly, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It just seems all very even in timing. Whereas you could, I mean, it's definitely faster here, but imagine it's more like hold, hold. So you're, you're maybe more in threes where I just, I just see constant movement. I think the animation's cool. The poses are neat. There's some definitely some good stuff in there. Love all this. Love all that. Look, all that's great. It's just, to me, it's more the slidiness, the even timing, for me, the perceived, at least, even timing. And then the question is, 
if he's punching like this, did this arrow come in like this? And then this guy means an arrow comes like that. And then another one came like this. This maybe passes on top of him. But now we have an uppercut. So is this because maybe he sees it and now the arrow comes from here. Bing! Goes off. Not too sure. And now we have one where it comes in, it seems like, from here. Then he has enough. Nope, there's another one here, right? Then he goes, shoo. So that must be a block, which could be from anywhere. It could be from here, from here, from here. And then what is that? Is that... Does that come from, from us up close into here, foreground to mid? Or is that... Because he's looking already towards us here and over or is that suddenly another one where i don't know maybe he comes from the other side and now he goes into the ground and then he has an uppercut like this but he looks this way ish this way but then this way and then this way like where is that coming from like, is that going to be something where ping, again goes off so to me my impression that i have and especially since you're writing that the final thing, he's going to be punching arrows from out of the air. So it, it has a feel of awesome moves, punch, punch, punch. And then the arrows come in as it. I'm going to place the arrows later on. It's almost like an afterthought. Again, not saying that's, that's what you were thinking. But to me, it seems like random moves. And then we're going to shoehorn some arrows in there. But then at the end, also, he has the an overall bubble. So I think what might be happening is that you should have an arrow, subjectively, right, as always, an arrow coming like this. And then there might be one into the ground here. Over his head. Here. And every now and then he's able to deflect some. And then you might have some here. So now it's changing direction. And that's why he's in front of us. And then we have here and then he has more one here and then at the end you have a couple coming from all sides and that's when he does this that's kind of the impression where i feel like you might want to start and we think it's coming from one direction but then the danger increases as we're realizing oh no this thing is surrounding him he has to fight all over or <laughs> <laughs> you tweak the animation so that really think about it in terms of are they coming from here are they coming it could be something where again this is very destructive in terms of a note but imagine they go and then suddenly you have this thing of this is not a what is he doing he's punching and it goes down into the upper cut okay hear me out this has nothing this is, this is almost random but he does punch, 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 punch. And then it's almost a move where one hits him here and goes, oh, you know, like, and he goes almost on his knees. I know this changes all the animation. Just hear me out as an idea, right? And then he's on his knee because something caught him off guard to the right. And then he turns around and that's why he goes like this. That's like something like that where it comes from one side and he thinks that's where it's coming from. And then something hits him or grazes him from the other side. And that's why he's changing direction and so on and so on. There, I mean, there are a million ways to make this work. But the question is, do you want to put the arrows in and then go from there and keep the animation? Do you want to have a specific thing of the arrows and tweak the animation? Or whatever, whatever you want to do. But that's kind of the thought that I have seeing this. All right, that's it. Thanks. All right. There's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.